Good afternoon and welcome to the Totally Wicked Stadium, formerly known as Lang Tree Park. This is the new home of St. Helens. Well, I say new, it's about like 10 years old now, but um, they used to play in Nosley Road, a few miles down the road. And we left. And what used to be Nosley Road is now a place called Cunning, uh, yeah, Cunningham Grange. And I'll tell you more about that in a while. But this is St. Helens RFC, Totally Wicked Stadium, formerly known as Langtree Park. Ex Terra Lucem, which means from the earth came light. It's Latin. See, I'm smart. But yeah, um, Totally Wicked is a vape company. And obviously, they used to be called Langtree Park, named after the company that built the stadium, the Langtree Group. So yeah, that's a little bit of interesting trivia. I would say it's a bit tin pot naming your stadium after a vape company but I'm an Evertonian and we used to have angry birds on the sleeves of our jersey should not have still got the jersey in the draw so yeah totally wicked stadium <laughs> so this is the outside of the south stand here I think this is one of the most busiest ones uh, this is where the players entrance is over there the youth zone is the St. Helens Superstore going there in a short while yeah, just noticed some, some scallies over there, one of them's got a moustache. You know, you know fucking St. Helens, don't you? Jesus. Okay, St. Helens RFC, ex Terra Lucent. Club of Legends since 1873. That's what you call history, right there. Okay, here's the superstar right now. It's uh, family right here. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah, it's not like, like, any of these are uh, like New Jersey, these are just like ancient jerseys. There's some balls over here. Uh, yeah, tracky bottoms. St. Helens tracky bottoms. Yeah, flat cap. Or St. Helens flat cap. Uh, some old jerseys from Wembley. 1961, Ken Large, Eddie Cunningham, that's Kieran Cunningham's brother. 1976 Challenge Cup final, beat Saints, they beat Bidness 20 points to 5. That's interesting. There's Pilkington after the sponsor, the big famous glass company in St. Helens itself. That's what St. Helens is also famous for. Oh, yeah, some official jerseys, sponsored by Home Bargain. Home Bargain is the best to get you shopping. Cheap as fuck. And good as well. For those who don't know, Home Bargain starts as a little shop in County Road in Liverpool. For those who don't know, County Road. It's a bit of a shit hole, isn't it? <coughs> Yeah. They've done well, haven't they, so? Okay, still on the south stand, there's the Red V Cafe bar. <laughs> I think anyone can go in there, really. I don't think I have to reserve anything. Uh, there's a big Tesco action. So if you want to get yourself some Smarties or whatever you can. Nice. West stand, so I'll point out this statue. This right here is the statue of Kieran Cunningham, one of the biggest legends in the history of St. Helens Rugby League. Now, Kieran Cunningham, he used to be a hooker for St. Helens, and that means it's a position in rugby league for those who don't know. I'm not saying he's a prostitute, yeah, but if you're offering like 150 for the hour, he might let you piss on. You never know. Everyone's got more bills to pay, haven't they? But yeah, Kieran Cunningham, he used to play for St. Helens, obviously. He also played for Great Britain, England and all that. In fact, no, I was thinking it was Wales, actually. Um, he's won pretty much everything there is to win with St. Helens. He's won the Super League, won Grand Finals, won Challenge Cups, won the International Club Challenge, or the World Club Challenge, beat loads of Australian teams. He's uh, done quite a lot for himself. He also coached St. Helens for a few years as well. I think it was like 2017. Yeah. And obviously his brother played in a Challenge Cup final. Like, 50 years ago, beat Wibness and that. So yeah, he's uh, from a very big rugby league family as well in St. Helens, which is what St. Helens is, it's just one big rugby league family. And we have to look at the stadium to see that. Okay. 
And there's the logo for the Totally Wicked Stadium, just as I approach the north south. Uh, by the looks of things, it's a bald-headed devil with sunglasses on and a really sort of creepy smile. Yeah, so yeah, this is the north south. There's a burglar alarm made by Chubb. Imagine your last name was Chubb. I hate that man. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a Hall of Fame wall. It's some of the legendary players, such as Kieran Cunningham, obviously. You see the statue, Sean Long, Vince Caralias. Those who don't know, Vince Caralias is a legendary St. Helens player who used to also play for Widnes. Whenever St. Helens and Widnes play each other, the Vince Caralias Cup is often up for grabs as well when they do it. Yeah, so there's a few names. I think you can probably pay a bit of money to get your own name on there. Like, you know, John and Joe CB, the Mullen family of Haydock, and Ken Baines, get him on side. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, that's a nice name. So yeah, nice little touching tribute to St. Helens and all those who surround themselves with it. Old mural here. St. Helens won the championship recently, the uh, Super League. The Catalans in the final at Old Trafford. There they are celebrating it. That was a good day for them, I'm sure. Shot of the Saints badge with that legendary Totally Wicked Stadium badge just above it. And Langtree Park was a way better. And it used to be called Nosley Road because obviously we built near Nosley Road. But they obviously um, knocked that down to make way for the housing estate. Which is now called the Cunningham Grange. After Kieran Cunningham. That statue before that we showed you. That was also named after Kieran Cunningham and based on him. So yeah, he's quite a legendary figure around here. Another legendary figure around here is Steve Prescott. And his, there's a bridge built in his honour, just down the road from here. I'll tell you a bit more about him in a short while. And last but not least is the stand. With the big St. Helens badge illuminated right before us. X terra light from the ground there is light again. Makes sense. There's that bar again, a little closer angle. Watching a previous game. I think it's against Catalans or something. Yeah, them scallies before, the one with the moustache. They've just been pointing and looking at me. I've heard one of them say, he's got a ferret, he's got a ferret, he's brought a ferret the game. <laughs> it's not a ferret, it's just a camera with a dead cat microphone. I'm not that, I'm not that stupid. There we go, one last time, Kieran Cunningham. Okay, right now, coming up towards the Steve Prescott Bridge, which is lit up in the colours of the Ukrainian flag. Obviously based on what's been going on recently. Uh, but for those who don't know, this was built to commemorate the legendary St. Helens and former Hull FC player Steve Prescott, who before he tragically lost his life to cancer, set up the Steve Prescott Foundation, which basically set up all kinds of funds and campaigns and benevolent campaigns for extra rugby players. Worldwide, and he's raised over five hundred thousand pounds just in the last like ten years alone. And this bridge was built to commemorate the man himself. And basically, um, Hull FC and St Helens every year they play against each other for the Steve Prescott Prescott Memorial Trophy. Which so there's two good tributes to the man himself. Which is very nice. Okay, there is a nice little mural here, just before the bridge. What the man believes the body achieves, Steve Prescott himself. A father, a husband, a sportsman, a winner, and an inspiration. Very nice.
you go, this is it. Try come in. Well thrown.
beautiful. That one guy, top left hand, spoiling for a fight on his own. No one else seems to give a shit over it. Just him. Desperate for the kick off him. <laughs> kind of sad when you think about it. Both lived happily ever after. Sneak peek at the next John Paul Gaultier advert. This man modelling right there. Doesn't he look sexy? Oh, the Saint Laurent. Les Nus Fréquences by Jean Paul Gaultier.